are able or our player is able to fight and, and die and now lose the game so now we want to add the condition that will allow them to win the game uh, so in order to do that we need to open up the player inventory script in our resources folder i'm going to open that up give it a double click and what we need to do is add a couple of things at the top here underneath our our singleton instance here we need to say public text gold text oh and we got another case of not having our Unity Engine UI include at the top. So we're gonna at the top, we're gonna add a using Unity Engine.ui semicolon. And now we've got access to that text class. So we're gonna say public text gold text. Then we'll say public oops, public game object you win. And then finally what we need to add is a public integer target gold. And we're gonna set that equal to a thousand for now. Um, but what you're going to do is you, make sure you write it in code as a thousand, but then in the inspector, I'll show you how to change that value to whatever you want the target gold to be. Next, what we need to do is hop down into our add gold function. We're going to add a little bit of space between our current gold and this get component here. And we're going to say gold text dot text is equal to current gold dot amount or I'm sorry current gold dot two string I don't know where amount came from there and then underneath our get component we want to add some more space and say if current gold is greater than or equal to our target gold that is if the players reach the amount of gold that we deemed worthy of winning the game we want to set the you win game object to active so we say you win dot set active is true we then want to say our cursor dot lock state, just like we did when our player dies, you want to give them access to the cursor again. So we're going to say cursor lock mode dot none. And then we're going to set time dot time scale to zero. So it, it's identical to the way that we tell them that they've lost is how we told them that they've won, but they get the nicer you win message instead of the game over message. So if we hit save, we can go back over to our editor now give Unity a second to think, and then click on our player pirate, and, oh, what's this? We've got a compiler error. Um, not sure. Oh, I know what this is. This is because I had to delete my player health script to show um, the uh, tech ability or the time traveler students how to import their thing over. So you can ignore mine. Yours will be set up properly. Mine is not currently, but that's okay. Um, what we're worried about is in our player inventory script up here. We want to add our gold text object into the gold text field. So we're going to drag over the, the text object here, not health text, but the other one. We're going to say text. And let's go ahead and rename that to gold text too, just so we can't be certain that we're working with the white one. And you can double check that it's the correct one too by clicking on it. If it's got zero and the color is gold, then you know it's correct. Um, but we're going to add that to the text option there. And then we're going to drag our disabled you win game object into the you win field. And then finally, this is where you're going to set your target gold. So I said I want mine to be 10,000. So I'm going to add 10 with four zeros after it. Uh, but you guys can, again, make this value whatever you want, but make sure that it's a value you can actually attain. You know, you're, the number, the amount of gold in your world is limited by how much gold you put in the world. So if you put enough gold in the world to hit 10 million gold, you can make your target gold 10 million. But you just have to make sure that there's enough gold to hit that number. Because if not, no one will ever be able to win your game. And that's not very fun. So we want to make sure we put an attainable number. But so long as you add the equivalent amount of gold into your world, you can make that number as high or low as you want.